Hey guys, welcome back to uh, Natural Selection 2. We are now on build 218. There's been a couple of changes, such as Hydra Health and stuff like that. I'll link in, in the description below. Uh, let's take a, go ahead and take a look at this. This is a fairly advanced game. Uh, I overheard the people talking about that we pretty much got this game won. So I'm assuming like that, you know, just trying to shoot me. we're doing pretty darn well. Uh, they've got... Yeah, we pretty much got a whole bunch of stuff down. So I'm going to go ahead and start chomping at things. Waiting for things to happen. You have a whole bunch of fades. Actually, yeah, let's look at the teams. We have uh, two fades, or is that three fades? One, two. Yeah, we okay. We have three fades, one lurk, and a couple of gorgeous. So that's cool. Um, I'm gonna head back to base in a bit because the commander mentioned putting down Onos eggs. So I would very much like to be an Onos, um, considering that I'm a little bit late to the game. So I'm not gonna have any resources for anything else. Uh, also, yeah, I should probably get some of these other things. Ah. Give me seconds. Let's see what we've got for these eggs. I don't know where the eggs are gonna be. Maybe he already know. I think he probably already spawned it. So never mind. Um, but what I can do is go ahead and get these let's start, let's start. evolutions. Um, Dude, I'm stuck, man. Where's celerity? Okay, celerity, thane death. You can move this whip next to and me. And uh, regeneration. Pow. Unroot it and move it over. Oh yeah, the camera's also a lot closer to the eggs, which is actually kind of a cool thing because, you know, that means that the it's got a little bit more of a cinematic look as you're evolving or you're hatching into an egg. Uh, so that's pretty awesome. Now where... I'll keep her. I got whip stayed, so... Where are other things? No, okay, no Onos eggs. That is more than fine. I'm alright with that. I am a fully evolved skulk, so I am going to try and do as much damage as I can. are you kidding? And in a little bit, I should get some, uh... I should get some... Fade action, as long as I don't die. Oh, hello. Oh, come on. There we go. Yes. Oh, running away so I can feign death properly. No, he know he knew I was alive. Son of a whore. All righty. Ooh, you know what? I just noticed my mic is really high up. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, if you guys got a little bit of an ear rape. That's my bad. That's my bad. No, I'll turn it down even one more notch. Point... Four. There we go. All right. Sorry about that, guys. Um, I don't know what the hell turned it up, but hey, there we go. Any chance to uh, stomp um, when you can? Okay. I just don't. I don't think I want to go Onos because I don't think they're gonna live very long. Um, yeah. You know, let's go Lurk. Why? Because we haven't done any Lurk action in a while, and you know, that sounds like a good idea. So we're gonna go Adrenaline. Um, feign death and regeneration. Adrenaline should actually balance out the whole issues I was having before with the whole lurk taking forever. Uh, although, I don't think I'm gonna get a chance. There's two Onos inside their base and three fades along with the two gorges. Yeah, this is. I'm, I don't think I'm gonna make it over there in time. <laughs> well, it's okay. I'm. I'm uh, so I'd rather have it go. To, yep, there we go. I'd rather have it go to the next round, anyways, so that we can, um,. So I can get a, go a good full game. Man, this round did really fantastic. Okay. Now I can fly around the... I literally well, I can fly around this room. For, uh... And then head into the <laughs> squeaky room. Whoosh. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Party in the secret room. Oh, yeah. And now we get the hell out of here. <laughs> okay. Uh-oh. Wah! Wah! I just went into the spectate mode. That's not what I wanted to do. Actually, you know what? Why not? I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and spectate this game. Uh, that might do a little bit of, of uh, unbalancing stuff. But you know, I want to do that. Okay, so we have the Marines. Oh wait, did the round already start? Okay, we have the Marines starting at the sub axis spawn and the aliens spawning directly across at Datacore. That means it's gonna be a close base game. There's gonna be a lot of tension going on in between ventilation and pipe junction as they fight over this um, this extractor node. Uh, meanwhile, the Marines should be expanding in this direction so that it's a bit easier to retain their extractors and the aliens would be going for this direction. Or if the aliens are really cocky, they could actually try and hold this place really well. Uh, there are three marines over in ventilation. I think they realize that the spawn, the alien spawn is close by, so they're going to be sitting over here. One of the players getting hit by a parasite, so the, the players, the aliens will be able to see him for a little bit. Um, 
a couple of aliens hiding around here. The the Marines seem to be kind of pushing way into the alien base. I don't think that's a good idea because that is going to get them killed. They're starting to split up. One guy's left behind, the guy with the parasite. Oh, but he's got a teammate back there as they start building up the extract over here. They have an extract. The Marines have an extractor. Not be. Oh, the extractor just went down in computer lab. So they're starting to get their expansion on. The. Ooh, there is some harassment going on by Encidia. He's going around destroying their cysts, so the aliens will not be able to get their their extractors or what are they called? Their the harvesters for a little bit until the the marine over there is taken out. So hopefully there will be an alien that goes over there and takes this one marine out. I don't know how well he's going to be able to take out or take on anybody while he's focusing on the cyst. Um, but by the looks of it, no one is going to be able to stop him from he's he's done a lot of harassment. That's a good like five cysts down. They're not going to be able to get their extractor early on, and you still have this major major harassment going on on this side. However, it seems as if the aliens are cleaning up ventilation. They're going to be able to take out the extractor. However, there are two more marines coming into the area, so that might not actually last very long. But at the very least, West Tenth is over here as a gorge. Oh no, West Tenth cut off guard. He's going to have to fight, take on E Fox. Will Swordstain be able to save him? Uh, Swordstain is trying very, very hard, but he's not able to save the Gorge. Meanwhile, on the other side of the map, there are a very large amount of Marines kind of expanding around. They've already got Computer Lab and Flight Control Harvesters. I'm assuming that they're going to be going for Crevice and or Crossroads. Crossroads is a big... Um Crossroads is a very big conflict zone, so I don't know if they'd want to do that. However, the aliens are very far behind in terms of resources. Um, they should there... Yeah, okay, as you can see over here... I'm not doing so well because they only have one harvester. Meanwhile, the the Marines have four, so that means the Marines this round are going to go by. They're going to go accelerate past the aliens in terms of technology. Uh, they're getting crevice up right now as the aliens begin starting to check out some of the area. Uh, by the looks of it, there was a Marine that was able to get all the way to the hive and do a little bit of harassment. And thank God the teams are even. I didn't want to have like a weird thing going on. Okay, so. The Marines are still having a good foothold over here next to um, ventilation. It, it would be a really good idea if the Marines actually got you know a couple of turrets here, but they don't. They don't have to. They can focus their resources and other things as they begin to spend. Oh man, there's just a major, major amount of front zone pushings over here. We have four Marines on at Atrium, kind of pushing along. Oh, one of them goes down. Um, as they start going for the extractor in Atrium, which is now over here, used to be over here. Uh, I'd like to see them get the phase gate technology so that they can go back and forth between these areas because this is a really, really far area away from the base. Um, meanwhile, Maba Homonu is uh, doing a little bit of harassment, although I guess he decides that's probably not a good idea. Uh, or he's doing a little bit of a hit and run, you know, to attract the marine attention. Meanwhile, seems as if there was another bit of conflict inside of the alien spawn. The alien hive is down to 90%. There needs to be a little bit, there needs to be someone who goes gorge and puts some defenses around this area. Um, ooh, that's not good. It seems to me as if the a the marine was able to take out the cis connecting these two areas. So if the alien commander doesn't notice this, they're gonna, he's going to lose the cis over here and then start losing the harvester. Uh, as soon as that harvester starts dying, though, he should be able to realize, oh, hey, the harvester in our base is dying. If not, we're going to have some really big problems as the aliens lose stuff. Uh, they are able to get some cysts down in this area. However, Insidia is back on the side trying to do some more harassment, preventing them from getting the harvester up. And the a I believe the aliens have just... They, 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 they've, they've taken a lot of resource loss in this game, or at least potential resource loss. They haven't gotten a lot. Um... So let's go ahead and look at the round that the, the, the Marines, even though they've been expanding around the map, they don't, they don't seem to be getting very many technologies at all. They've only got Armor 1. Uh, they don't have shotguns, any of the other likes. You can see that down here. Uh, meanwhile, ooh, someone just died or someone is dead. Or is that the commander? I'm not too sure. Uh, so let's look around up here. Oop, they've started phase tech, so that is good. They will be able to go around to the other bases pretty quick. Uh, I'd like to see some phase gate action going on around here and or around here. Depending on what's going on, by the looks of it, there are a couple of aliens chilling out on the roof, waiting to begin some um, drop-down action on the Marines. Unfortunately for them, the Marines seem to take note that they probably know that they're there, so they're just chilling out back here. Uh, meanwhile, some more conflict going on around at the bottom. Are there any other advanced? Okay, nope, there are only Skulks in this game at the moment. There's no fades, no... I wouldn't expect any fades because of their resource nodes, but hey, this guy gets parasited, so oh, two people get parasited, so if they run away, they'll be able to, people will know where they are, but it doesn't matter because by the looks of it, Bun and um, Bun and Swordstain were able to take out Efox and the other guy, and they're also able to finish the the third person who was roaming around, so they're, the, Marine, the aliens are doing a good job kind of taking out people. Oh, no! Oh, no. That was able to get all the way down to 6%. 
Uh, if someone doesn't go over there as a gorge and heal it up, the, the Marines could very easily run over there and take it out in a couple of axe swipes. So I don't know what's going to happen. The aliens really, or the Marines should be focusing down that harvester. Uh, but that's okay because they're kind of all over the place. Um... Ooh, some conflict going down in Crossroads. The Marines not able to take out the Skulks that were there. Will the Skulks run over here and take out the... Take out the Extractor? I do not know. Doesn't seem like it. They seem to be kind of be waiting around. Is Grey Hunter... Yep, Grey Hunter sent ring around. Uh, by the looks of it, though, the Mar the aliens have kind of pushed back the a the Marines on the Atrium side. So they're starting to get some reactor... Or they're starting to get some harvesters. Meanwhile, some conflict going down. A or e Fox and Art and Hi or Heat Surge and Pommel all running into the area. Oh, Heat Surge is running over to that Harvester with 6%. Oh, but he doesn't take it out. Oh, no, that's very bad. If they could just take out that Harvester inside the, the alien base, that would be a major, major hit into the, the alien econo economy. Um... Sure, they have the the aliens have enough resources, but that's that is when you when you're at a very low amount of harvesters, ten resources to replace one is very is a very big hit. So uh, let's go back over to the marine base and see what they've got. So far, they are getting their advanced armory up, so we should be expecting some grenade launcher and flamethrower action pretty soon. Uh, they still don't have shotgun. I think shotgun would be pretty helpful, but that is okay. Uh, they've got armor one. And they're starting to get their face gates down. Are they going to be placing any of the face gates down in some of these areas? It doesn't seem like it. Ooh, there's Bun and Myth, de uh, Myth Demeanor is, are sitting at the top of the place, just parasiting them. Oh, no, but by parasiting, they attracted attention to where they were. And Bun just falls straight off the map. Oh, no! Bun actually landed at the very bottom of the area and was able to live. He's going to come over here and try to take out Akamu. Ooh, but he doesn't. he's not able to do that. Uh, Myth Demeanor coming down, trying to finish off what Bun started. Unfortunately, he gets three Marines going on to take him on, so that didn't happen. Uh, the alien hive is down to 80, 70 percent. The Marines are doing some major damage over here, considering that they're only using the they're only they're only using assault rifles. Oh, poop gunner over, coming over here and taking out the harvester about time. Uh, so there's about a good major conflict going on inside the alien base. You have four Marines just kind of doing some heavy damage with a lot of the aliens that are alive not being over there. Uh, Fire Pro Pyro over here also trying to, you know, keep it keep the atrium alive. Unfortunately, it looks as if Fire Pyro is gonna go down to a Marine and his pistol. Uh, so four more Marines running over here into this area, taking out all the cysts and various structures around here. Gonna catch this uh, whip before it's finished building. Meanwhile, inside the alien base, the aliens are starting to clean up the Marines. So they were able to save uh, they were able to save their hive, even though it's down to 57%. Thankfully they have there is a crag next to the base, so they'll be able to heal it up just a little bit. Um as as it sits there, although it won't do nearly as much healing as a gorge. So if they could get a gorge to heal it up for a while, that would be pretty good. The harvester is back down inside the base being regrown, so we'll see if that'll be able to help them. Unfortunately, while that was going on, HM is being taken out, all the cysts are going down, and there wasn't a harvester here any anyways. So we'll see what happens as this could potentially become a very good foreground for the, uh, the uh, front line for the marine side if they put down some sentry sentries, which they can't really because they don't have any, um, <laughs> they don't have a box silly, but um, they can put a phase gate and make this a front line. So if they can do that, they would sandwich the alien team into their spawn even more than they already have. Uh, but it doesn't seem as if the marine commander is going for that right now. I don't know what the marine commander is actually going for. Uh, but by the looks of it, he is getting shotguns now along with researching grenade launchers. Um, or not. Wait, yeah, yep. Yeah. Grenade launchers is getting researched, so that's going to be a very critical skill along with... Or was that... I don't know. Uh, Armor 2 just got finished researching, though, so that's a pretty good thing. And there goes shotguns. Okay. More harassment going on inside of the alien base. Ooh. Oh, no. See, that is very bad because the... Marine, the aliens really shouldn't be running straight forward towards a marine, especially Efox. Efox is one of the more highly skilled players on the team, taking out a large amount of marines with his 12 and 6 ratio. But that's okay. Uh, marines have claimed atrium, as you saw on the side. Um, they put down a command chair and a phase gate, so they are going to begin putting down a lot of things around here. I'm assuming, uh, hopefully, they'll put down a sentry gun. I want them to get sentries. Sentries would be a very good way to hold back alien advancement, but that's okay. They seem to, they seem to be doing a very good job at holding back the aliens, even without sentry guns. Uh, so that's more than fine. At the very least, they have a phase gate, so they can come back to this area instantly. 
Uh, they also need, they should probably get an armory around here because that would assist them in keeping their marines in alive without having to go through the gate. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem as if anyone is actually over there at Atrium. A lot of the marines are inside of the spawn. Uh, they're starting to get the prototype lab up, so you can, you can expect to see some exosuits as most of the marines have 75 resources, which is more than enough to get the dual suit or the dual machine gun exosuit once that is researched. And with five, <coughs> with ex five, with five extractors up, that's, that can be very easily obtained, so we'll see what happens. Uh, let's go back to the main base. Ooh! Insidia doing some damage with a shotgun, taking out Swords in and then running off to the in-between area of, or in-between, but in-between Crossroads and Pipe Junction. He's just gonna chill there, watching out for aliens as Atrium starts getting some armories up. It would be pretty cool to see them get another Harvester, although they don't really need it at this point. Uh, Marine, or aliens lost the harvester up in reactor core, so they are once again sitting on one, so that is a very big issue. However, we do have a lurk over here, so we are starting to get a little bit of the more advanced aliens, uh, even though despite the low, despite the low resource gain, we are able to get one of them. Uh, the lurk isn't exactly one of the more attack, assault, damaging kind of classes, however, so that's not going to make a big difference, but it will, it will help a little bit. Unfortunately for him, there are three marines running into the enemy base, so if he doesn't Without some support, he's going to die pretty quickly. So let's go back up here. Uh, ooh! The aliens were able to run up to Atrium and take out the phase gate before any Marines were able to go back through it. So they were able to take out the foothold that they are, uh, that the alien, the Marines have. Unfortunately, there is Efox running up. So will the Marines, will the aliens be able to take out the command station in time before Efox comes over and tries to kill them? Who knows? It's down to 2%. Ooh, the command station goes down. And, oh, Efox just got recalled back to the base. They just distressed beacons. So you can expect to see the, the Marines start running over into mass uh, into a mass attack. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like that. They're all going over to um, flight control. I'm not too sure why uh, they're going to start building in there or something. I'm not, I don't, I don't know. Um, there seems to be a bit of... Yeah, okay, they start. They, they put down a command station inside of command uh, in, inside of flight control. You do need, I believe, I do. I think you do need a second command station in order to get some of the more advanced technologies. So that is a good reason for them to have that. Uh, Bob Reith coming over down to ventilation and finishing off the extractor, which was never repaired. It's been sitting at 25% for a very long time because the Marines never got welding technology. However, speaking of technology, they do have. They just got their grenade launcher research, and they already have flamethrower and jetpacks, so you can start to see some major, major pushing by the uh, Marines now that they have the uh, jetpacks. Uh, George or Gorge Norris coming over to Crossroads and taking out the power node. Unfortunately, he is caught off guard by two Marines. He's going to get taken out as the Marines uh, continue to camp in the area so they can repair the power node and get their extractor back up. Meanwhile, at Atrium, there seems to be a Marine train going up with five Marines running up into this area to check out and see if there's anything here. Unfortunately for the aliens, or actually fortunately for the aliens, there is nothing up here for the aliens to, uh, for the Marines to take out. Um, so we'll see what happens there. Heart Surge coming over here to repair the power node. Meanwhile, their cysts starting to go up inside of Reactor Core. Unfortunately, they are not... Um, they're not fully grown, so you're not going to see any harvester action. This is our pretty little island. Aquamu is around here. So yeah, I guess they're, tr they're really starting to lay claim onto uh, Atrium. They put down the harvester, so yep, they're going to try and do some major defending around here. Hopefully, we'll see some phase gate action again. Um, What's going on right here? Gorge Norris coming down back, or coming down to ventilation, taking out melat mel melatonin. <laughs> I'm bad for not knowing how to pronounce that. Um, but the the Marines seem to have lost a couple of extractors. However, that is more than okay because hey, they have they have a, they have enough resources to spare that. So let me see what's that. What is that? Is that? I'm not too sure, but Gorge Norris is running into the, the Marine base, starting to chomp down some of these structures. However, Heat Surge comes through the phase gate, so is Heat Surge going to be able to take him out? Ooh, no! Heat Surge is not able to take out Gorge Norris, so Gorge Norris is allowed free running to the base. He's going to go for the... He's going to run away, actually. I thought he was going to go for the Power Node, which would have really been good, because if they could take out the... If they could take out the power node, they'd put a complete stop to all Marine production. However, there is this base over here. Um... The Marine Commander catches wind of how bad that would be if they were caught off guard and the power node was taken out, so he puts down a, a infantry porter inside of flight control so that they can uh, spawn over there as soon as someone actually builds a structure. Uh, speaking of phase gates, there is a phase gate up in HM now, so they have a good control around the area as our... our... our right? Our art, <laughs> as Akumu and his friend over here uh, kind of stay in glass hallway, trying to keep the aliens back from reactor. Uh, unfortunately for Akumu, his teammate kind of runs off a little bit. Oh, but Akumu's more than okay, taking out Bob Reith as he camps, camps on the wall. 
Uh, Fire Pyro coming over here and taking out the Power Node inside a crossroads. There are, I don't think the Marines... Oh, no! He notices the Marines are coming into the area and runs off. Do these guys have welding technology? No, they do not have... Uh, they don't have that. At least they don't have a welder on them. So Firepower runs off. He's going to be able to take out E Fox. And. All right. Firepower takes out E Fox. Unfortunately for him, during that battle, Cydia was able to progress over there and take him and catch up and take him out. Um. You have some grenade launcher action going on in on the side of Pipe Junction and Data Core, and a lot of the marine, uh, a lot of the aliens seem to be on fire. So there's some flamethrower action also going on around here. So where is that flamethrower guy? Ooh, Akamu and Airart, along with Insidia, pushing up to the side of the alien spawn. That were there are a couple of hydras. However, that's not gonna save them. Um, ooh, a lot of aliens just died to that. Are they gonna be able to take out? Nope. Akumu was able to take out firepower before he dies. The marine commander really should put down some health packs for these guys, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Ooh, yeah. These guys are going to die immediately if they come into this area. AR dies, and Akumu dies, both to the hydras of Myth Demeter. So that push is going to fail as Insidia just kind of went through the base instead of actually staying in there. <laughs> so let me let me go and see what's going on. Ooh, dual minigun uh, exosuits have been researched. However, E-Fox and Melatonin the, and Poop Gunner have all gone into into the exosuits without waiting and in fact it looks as if all the marines are getting inside the exosuits so we have a very large amount of exosuits pushing into the area exosuits currently are very very powerful end game units from the marines so you can already you can already tell that this is going to be one of the final pushes I think, I think the amount of mechs going inside the alien base could instantly wipe it out, so I don't know what's going to happen. They don't, the aliens don't have any of the advanced units to take this on. Uh, however, there is the fact that no one has welders, but that doesn't matter because there's just more than enough marines running into the area. Okay, so let's see what's going on around the other rest. Yep. Gorge North just kind of running off, going to do some other harassment around the base because there's not really much to do. The ugh, the, mech, the exosuits can't really go around the area because they can't be teleported, but that doesn't matter because they're just gonna chill out inside the alien base, shooting up everything and punching all the aliens as fa as much as as much as possible. Gorge Norris comes back and goes after heart or heart surge or heat surge, while the aliens start or while the exosuits start really tearing up the alien base. All the cysts going down. I think this is GG because they are just taking out everything as fast as possible. The harvests are going down. All the cysts going down. A large amount of the eggs no longer are available, so the aliens won't even be able to respawn. Because they only have their one, they only have one hive. So yeah, unfortunately, however, oh, actually no, very fortunate for the alien team. It seems as if most of the exosuits have gone down. Out of the five exosuits, uh, five to six exosuits that ran into the area, almost all of them have gone down. There is one left. However, there is one more coming in through the area. Oh, it's a little bit too late for that because all the skulks are running in and taking this guy out. Oh, but Insidia comes in with a dual machine gun exosuit. He's going to do some uh, a lot more damage in terms of uh, gun power. Uh, Fire Pyro either feigning death or just chilling out on the rooftop. So what's going on around here? Uh, all the Marines actually have enough resources to get more exosuits. So unfortunately for them, what seems to be as a solid pushback from the alien team is actually not. Um, so... You can see there's going to be more exosuits running into the area, and I, that's definitely got to be GG because there's just not enough eggs to respawn enough people to take on this many exosuits. And I don't think there's... And the, the aliens definitely don't have any of their research available because they... What is that, anyways? Uh, that is carapace and regeneration. Yeah, they're not going to live through this. So, what? how many... We have two... We have two dual machine gun exosuits. Actually, no, we only have one. It's still Insidia. Okay, so we have one dual ma machine gun while the rest of them are uh, single machine gun in the fist, and they start taking out the machine gun. Oh, my God. They start using the machine gun to take out the hive, and it goes down immediately. It went from like 50 to zero really quickly, so that's GG. The Marines did a major, major, major good job Ooh. in that round. Okay. Um, my God. How is that possible? That was a good game on the Marine side. The aliens just never had a chance to really win that, so that was pretty impressive. Unfortunately, they didn't really, they didn't really have welding, <laughs> which could have helped out in keeping the exosuits alive. Uh, would have been nice to see that, especially because it would have helped keep their other structures too but that's more than okay uh, we're gonna go over to the next round and i'm actually gonna play in the middle of one instead of spectating that was kind of cool i like i like that so uh beer pack